My name's Sue Barrell. I'm a Deputy Director of Observations and Information at the Bureau of Meteorology in Australia. Um, I'm also the Chair of the Intercommission Group on WIGOS and the Vice President of CBS. Through my career I started as a, uh, I did a PhD, joined the Bureau as a meteorologist and I've worked in just about every different facet of meteorology from observations, IT, research, administration, governance, policy, climate change, till I got to where I am now as um, one of five deputy directors in the Bureau of Meteorology. And we're in a fairly, um, our, our organisation is pretty similar to most organisations, uh, meteorological organisations. We have a, a relatively low percentage of women, but our executive is actually half and half men and women. So hopefully we're starting to send a good signal. I'd like to talk a bit about leadership because leadership is something that's very dear to my heart and it's something that women really are extremely capable of doing but often don't realise that they have that capability. One of the things that I've noticed a lot uh, through my career is that women tend to undervalue what it is they're good at. And women are very good at bringing people along, at collaborating, uh, at, at providing feedback and communicating and coming up to a, a, a consensus about where to proceed. I think they're very good also at being able to articulate a vision and bringing others, inspiring others along with that vision. Uh, they're also pretty good at judging the balance between uh, actions and inaction and changes. And I think being able to adopt a, a very positive approach to risk is also something that women are very good at. So we need to uh, get more women into leadership roles, but in order to do that, you've got to convince the women that they actually can take on their roles. In a lot of cases, women are their own worst enemy because of this self-doubt. Um, in other cases, there are very real barriers, and I understand, I wouldn't want to trivialise it in some countries for cultural reasons and social reasons. It's a lot harder to get women into leadership positions, but where we can do that, uh, a lot of work can be done with women themselves to build their own skills, to build their own realisation of what it is they're capable of, and to get them into that role. It's important to get them into that role not only for themselves and for their organisations, but also for the role model that they provide for others. Uh, younger scientists um, within their own organisations, men within their own organisations, so they can appreciate what women can do. But also customers, so that a lot, because a lot of customers relate better to women than they do to men, especially women um, who, who, who might have special requirements about how to respond in different situations, different disaster situations. And to have women in a senior position allows you to build that really strong trust relationship with the services that you provide, with the communications that you provide to users to understand how to develop and use the services. But, even, but in order to get women to that level that they can actually aspire to leadership positions, the fundamentals are really important. The fundamentals of education, the fundamentals of um, science education. It starts at the very lowest level from, from primary school in terms of making sure that they actually get that education they need. From my experience, a lot of women drop out of science around the sort of uh, you know, third, fourth year of high school where they start making their choices. Up to that level, uh, certainly in my country, it's a very broad education and science is interpreted very broadly. But when they start to make choices about where they'll go in their careers, I think science is largely absent in terms of the career choices. And I think mentoring uh, from women leaders in science agencies and meteorological agencies working with schools and demonstrating where you can go in your career is, is really important. So, so leadership not only helps you put your organisation on the right path, but also helps you bring in new, um, new scientists, young women into meteorology and into those future leadership positions.